Hey everyone, welcome back to Cocktail Cards. Today we're gonna to show you how to make the White Russian. Now of course this drink has been immortalized by the movie The Big Lebowski, one of my favorite movies of all time. In fact, when I turned 21, the only drink I knew how to order was a White Russian because of that movie. So I have a lot of history with this drink, a lot of experience with it. And typically when you do get this drink, of course in the movie, he just throws everything into a glass, uses his finger and just gives it a quick stir and drinks it. And a lot of times when you go out to a bar, it's served kind of the same way. They, they'll just throw everything into a glass real quick and dump a little either milk or half and half on top and give it to you. So I like to really focus on the presentation for this drink. And the way I do that is I use heavy whipping cream and I really shake it up until it makes kind of a, a whipped cream to where I can layer on top. It looks really good and having that whipped cream on top just really allows you to get a little bit of it each and every sip as well. It's my favorite way of doing this drink, so I'm gonna show you that method. However, if you just wanna stir the drink, that's totally fine. Up to you what you wanna do. Um, but let's jump in and go over the ingredients. Now, this is a very simple drink. Three ingredients. You're gonna have your vodka. I'm just gonna use Tito's for this one. Uh, next, you're going to use Kahlua or a coffee liqueur. Now, this drink, obviously, in the movie is very, very, it's, it's made with Kahlua, so we're gonna stick to that recipe. And lastly, you'll need some sort of cream. Now, some people use milk, some people use half and half. I'm using heavy whipping cream that I'm gonna show you how to actually thicken it up so you can layer it on top. So we'll be building this cocktail in our glass, and the very first thing we wanna do is add some ice. Now we're ready to build out our drink. Let's go ahead and start with two ounces of vodka. And next we're gonna add one ounce of Kahlua. Now at this point, let's go ahead and grab a spoon and just give this drink a little stir to kind of mix up your ingredients. And if any ice has melted in this point, you want a little bit more ice in your glass, go ahead and top it off with that ice. So at this point, uh, you actually already have a cocktail here. This is called the Black Russian. And uh, with these two ingredients, it's very simple to make. And at this point, if you came here for this drink, you're done. <laughs> Enjoy, sip it. It's, uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Coffee, very sweet. Uh, Kahlua is gonna be your primary flavor in this because your vodka shouldn't really have much flavor. So you're basically drinking Kahlua that's gonna get you really drunk because you have two ounces of vodka in there as well. Uh, now to make the White Russian, of course we have to add our cream. Now what I like to do is take one of these squeezers here and put a little bit of heavy whipping cream and then just really give it a shake for about 60 seconds to get it nice and thick and full like a whipped cream. So let's go ahead and give this a shake for about 60 seconds. So after a while, you'll start to notice that it goes from a liquid to something a little frothier and, and thicker, and it's pretty obvious once it's ready. But if you're not quite sure, you can actually take the tip off and pour a little on your finger. And if it comes out and forms a little bit of a bead and kind of sticks there, right? If you tip your finger, uh, then you know that it's pretty close to being ready. Now, I like mine to bead a little bit more, so I'm gonna give it a little bit more longer of a shake. All right. Give this another bead test here. There we go. So now we're getting a much better bead on our fingers. So now I know that my whipped cream is ready. Next, go ahead and grab your bar spoon and we're just gonna put a whole layer of our heavy whipping cream on top. And then take your spoon and just kind of level out the top there and you'll get this beautiful layer of whipped cream on top. And there you have it, the cocktail cards, White Russian. Mm. 
Oh yeah, a little leftover in the beard too. That's good. You know, when we first tasted this here with the vodka and the Kahlua, it's very Kahlua forward. It's just very sweet, very coffee flavor. Now when you add that heavy whipping cream on top, it's thick enough to where when the liquid runs through it, okay, you're gonna get a little bit of that cream in each and every sip. And that's why I actually like to do it this way. And the whipped cream really breaks down the sweetness. So it's not overly sweet anymore. It's kind of like an iced coffee with whipped cream on top. And it's really good, definitely a good brunch or breakfast time drink if you make it this way. I love it, this is my favorite way to do it. It's pretty darn good, the White Russian. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Black Russian, White Russian recipe video here. I know this is a drink I ordered for a very, very long time because it was the only one I, I knew the name of because of the movie. And uh, I want to know down below in the comments, let me know if you've ever had a White Russian and if you liked it. I actually do enjoy this drink if it's made this way. Um, so yeah, let me know down below, I'm curious. And since you made it this far, I do have a bonus game for you as well. Me and my friends, now I, I don't condone anyone to do this because it does result in a lot of drinking, but next time you watch The Big Lebowski, you can make White Russians. And every time you hear the word dude, take a sip of your drink and then be baffled at how much you drink in the next hour because it's a lot. They say dude, a lot, like a lot. Like it's a dangerous drinking game. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> there you have it. The dude abides. Thanks for checking out the White Russian video. I'm AJ with Cocktail Cards and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.